Early morning and conditions were calm under the morning sun. But the cow's dockside was a hive of activity. It was all hustle and bustle. I've never done this before, so hopefully I don't go in, which I nearly did on the practice run yesterday. So yeah, it should be good. But I'm very competitive, so anything other than a win will be uh, severely disappointing. So we were one of three boats from St Catherine's School in Bramley and sorry. We just got together yesterday and we're now a sort of a finely tuned machine after <laughs> eight hours on the water yesterday. Well we're competing with these guys. We're all yeah, that's the only one that matters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're the dads. Well we're one of two batches of dads, yeah. So we'd like to beat the mums. For us it's about fun. It's beating the mums. Uh, and beating, and beating, them. The, beating the boys. <laughs> Last minute preparations were being made before over 1,500 boats started the 2014 JP Morgan Asset Management round the island race. Veteran broadcaster David Dimbleby was taking part in the race for the second time after a 50 year gap. But before getting out on the water, he had one very important role to play. I'm about to fire the first gun and the official starter race, which I'm very proud of and very unexpected too. Five, four, three, two, one, time! Brilliant! There you go. What fun! <laughs> At the start, wind conditions were light. A four-knot breeze did its very best to move the spectacular fleet along. It was a case of softly, softly through Hearst Narrows and up to the Needles. The Monohulls led the way with Tokolosh 2 and Sir Ben Ainsley's Rebel at the front of the pack. But once around the Needles, pre-race favourites Team Richard Mill on a GC32 high-performance catamaran began to nudge ahead. Crewed by some of the world's top professional sailors, they got into a comfortable lead. Behind the leading boats, the wind was dropping off and dropping off fast, which caused the huge fleet to slow and stagnate. The now becalmed mass of boats made a spectacular sight off the needles. Patience, now the name of the game on the longest day of the year. Way up in the lead, Team Richard Mill were beginning to enjoy the bursts of breeze. As for the chasing pack, it was all about trying to stay in touch. But by now, the majority of the fleet were way, way behind. But at last, they slowly began to make some headway. They still had a long way to go, but that hardly seemed to matter. This was perhaps epitomised by the official race charity. On board the five Ellen MacArthur Cancer Trust boats, they were just enjoying being part of the race. The race, organised by the Island Sailing Club in Cowes, was first run in 1931 and has witnessed many wonderful moments out on the water. Sadly, no records have been broken, but it was Richard Mills' GC32 that finally took the line on us, with a time of 8 hours, 51 minutes and 39 seconds. It had indeed been one of the longest days out on the water, but as the sun continued to beat down, the spectacular and happy fleet of 1,500 boats slowly headed for home. They all would have their own unique experience of Britain's favourite yacht race, and you can be rest assured they will all be back next year to do it all over again.